Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the stake races from Belmont Park here on Saturday, October the 5th, 2013. You can handicap the 8th race, the 9th race, and the 10th race. Great day of racing here. Start off with the 8th race, it was what is the 64th running of the Jamaica Handicap. Grade 1, purse $500,000 for 3 olds going 1 mile and 1 eighth on the turf course. Look, show them that. Uh, we do have a field of excuse me, field of 13 horses, including one eight here. Uh, very wide open race. Can do exact the box here of seven nine. Number seven, Stormy Land, eight to eight to one. Uh, Alex Solis is in the uh, Soki uh, saddle. Excuse me. Uh, last time out the one on September the 15th. I would find mile and a half in the Northern Dancer Stakes. Came third by length that day. This horse gave away gradually that day. Uh, mile and a half, I think, just a little bit too long for this horse. Uh, then at Arlington, uh, mile and a quarter in the Secretariat Stakes on August uh, 17th. Came second by uh, one and a quarter lengths. He was forward 30 wide and was just second best that day. Then the American 30 mile through 16th at Arlington. Came third by head. He had a four wide bid and was very lonely. Do you like this horse here? This uh, horse has found its calling card on the turf. Uh, first time the horse ran on the turf was at Gulfstream earlier this year. Came forth, but also had some really good uh, starts over the turf. Better than his dirt at the uh, third start. So going with this one. I'm going to be also going with the 12. Number 12, Nacha Baclama. 8 to 1, uh, Javier Castellano. Last time after it's Saratoga Mile on the 8th. On September 1st, and Sarah Knox stakes. Came second by uh, two and a half lengths. He's Drew Weidman uh, in the upper and had good energy at that time. And Saratoga Mom Leaf in the Hall of Fame stakes on August 9th. Came first by three quarters lengths. He had a 2 3 wide second turn and had a bit at the 16 pole, just missed out there. Um, just missed by the 16 pole, excuse me. Uh, but then went away. Um, that, that race is pretty weird, though. The uh, Hall of Fame race. And then the Solar Splendor Stakes at Belmont Mile, 16th on July the 13th. Came first by half points, he's three, uh, three wide the first turn, and just edged away. So going with this one, so we count my bets race number eight from Belmont, going to 712. Let's count to race number nine. What is the 66th running of the Frizet Stakes? Grade one, purse $500,000. For Phillies, two rolls. Go one turn miles, go seven. Prep race for the Breeders' Cup. Juvenile Phillies. Seven horses, and I'll be going with the four. Stop charging Maria. Uh, three to one. Javier Castellano, last time out the run, Saratoga, seven furlongs on September 1st in the Spinaway Stakes. Came second by five into Core Links. He's two through wide turns and five wide into Lane, and one away that day. Then made special weight 8,000 at Saratoga, five and a half on July the 19th. One by five and a half lengths, he drifted to two paths with Core Pole and had a hand drive. His last two starts pretty impressive out, out of a uh, tail of a cat. Going with this one, so cat my best race number nine from Belmont Park. Going with the four. Now let's get on to race number ten. What is the 142nd running of the Foxwood Sh Champagne Stakes? The Champagne Grade 1, purse $500,000 for two rolls. Going them on, on the main track. Field of nine horses going to post here. And I'm going to go with the four here, depth ceiling, 10 to 1, Junior Alvarado, last time out there on Delaware Park, 5.5 for a long time, and uh, St. Dash, 75,000 on 914, 1 by 5 lengths, to use competent handling that day. Then Saratoga in the Sanford Stakes on July 21st, Kim 6 by 36 lengths, he's inside eager and steady at the half mile pole, and after that, just really went away. Um, that was against uh, some high class horses. Uh, this horse did start his career uh, 3 and 3. Won a grade 3 at uh, Churchill on the 29th uh, of June on the Sox 6 for all and torn by two and quarter lengths. He sweeped and moved and cleared. So going with this one, this horse did break his maiden at uh, Laurel on the, in March 4 and a half lengths by 4 and a half lengths. This little beach uh, shipper I think could win here. So we capped the best race number 10 from Belmont Park going for good luck to all.